Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we'll show you the complete workflow for designing concrete beams and concrete columns in RAM Structural System. In this video, we will start the process for designing our concrete columns in the RAM Concrete Column Design Mode. This will include the process of specifying the design criteria, assigning your bar patterns, and then finally designing your concrete columns. To access the RAM Concrete Column Mode when you're within RAM Concrete already, we'll go to our Mode Toolbar and select Concrete Column. Before we design the concrete columns, we must first verify the column design criteria and also your lap splice criteria, both of which are available through the criteria menu in the RAM concrete column design mode. We will first start by specifying our column design criteria. In the criteria menu, we will now select column design. Here we can specify our reinforcement parameters, our bar selection information, and the design checks and forces. We will start with our reinforcement, and we could specify parameters for clear bar spacing, your longitudinal reinforcement ratios, and your clear bar cover. In all of these fields, we will go ahead and select the code prescribed criteria. Next, we can select our bar selection information. This is used to specify your transverse bar spacing and shear leg requirements. Finally, we'll select the Design Checks and Forces tab. This will be used to indicate if torsional capacity and the maximum column axial load limit code checks should be included in the design. After you are done specifying your criteria, we'll go ahead and click OK. We can now specify our lap splice criteria. We'll return to our criteria menu and select Column Lap Splice. This criteria will be used to calculate accurate bar lengths for material takeoff reports. This criteria is not used in the design of the concrete columns. We will review the Lap Splice criteria, and then we will go ahead and click OK. Now, while in the criteria menu, you might have noticed that there's also an option for frame type. In a previous video, we already specified the frame types when we were in the concrete beam design mode, and that criteria applies to both the design of concrete beams and concrete columns. Another step that will be required before designing your concrete columns is to assign your bar patterns. Bar patterns contain predefined column reinforcement patterns for rectangular, spiral, and circular types of concrete columns. Each column must be assigned at least one and up to three bar patterns prior to performing the design. Assigning bar patterns to our concrete columns will be a two-step process. We first need to create the bar pattern templates, and then we need to assign them to the columns. To edit your bar pattern templates, we're going to go up to our Assign menu and select Edit Bar Patterns. And here you can create as many bar patterns as would be applicable to your particular model. So maybe you have some larger columns that you'd want more bars in, Maybe some circular columns might have some different bar patterns and so on. Here we're going to create a simple rectangular template. We're going to enter three bars for the top. On each side we're going to have one additional, so basically that'll yield nine bars. For our longitudinal bars we can go from a minimum of number five for this example and then a maximum of, we'll select number nine. You can also select your transverse bar size, and here we'll pick number 4. And then we'll go ahead and click the Add button. And you can see we've created our first bar pattern template. You can create as many as you like, and we'll create one additional one for this exercise. So we'll add an additional bar along each side of the concrete columns. We'll keep our minimum and maximum bar sizes the same. And then we'll go ahead and click the Add button. Once you are done setting up all of your bar patterns, we can click OK. And now we're ready to assign them to our particular model. We're going to go ahead and select the bar patterns. We're going to select the bar patterns that we want to assign. You can assign up to three for each column. And we'll click on the All button. 
and now we've assigned bar patterns to every column in the model. Alternatively, you could select the single button, and then you could go around and click what columns you want it to assign to. Just remember to click the upper column and the lower column if you have multi-story columns. Now what we're going to notice is that our columns have now turned yellow, indicating that they are ready for design. One last note I wanted to mention before designing these concrete columns, though, is you may have noticed that we didn't generate any load combinations in the concrete column mode. This is because we already generated our load combinations in the concrete beam design mode. If you generate them in the beam design mode, they'll actually be used by both the concrete columns and the beams. If, for your particular model, you don't actually contain any concrete beams and you skip straight to the concrete column mode, you're going to want to generate your load combinations here using the Combinations menu. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.